Hello and welcome back to another video. This time I'm gonna be playing Ash on the bot lane with the new Fae Dragon skin. Looks pretty cool. Damn that recall. Oh that's nice. <sighs> so it's it looks like it's a Kaisa and Zed. On bot lane. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I was gonna try and test something out. You know how Urgot works with Ravenous? Yeah, apparently so does every single champion in the game. It doesn't say that your champion has to be melee anymore. So, every single ranged attack is gonna cleave for pretty much the same but it says physical vamp is 33% effective against non-champions cleave deals a minimum of 9 damage to units at the end of its range can only hit each target once per attack or ability and doesn't trigger off periodic damage so yeah it's not gonna work on singed or timo poison but yeah, it's gonna work on Ash Q, I'm hoping. <laughs> like, if it does, this is gonna be so broken. Even more so than Urgot. Like, imagine Ravenous into Runans and Ash Q on everybody. Yeah, like, that's gonna be broken as hell. And apparently it's Yone bot. Okay. BB. Let me just... Eh. This case is gonna die if she gives this up. Oh! Damn. I haven't actually played ADC in a lot of... Like... This has been a while. Okay. I think, yeah. I was gonna say I think Lulu ignited, but she doesn't have ignite. Uh, never mind. Um, I'm pretty bad at CSing with Ash. I'm not gonna lie. What are you even trying? You're not doing any damage. Let's just see where this listen is. Oh, he's not on bot side, so... I'm just gonna ping. Why is my Lulu beating up on Kaisa though? <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm running r the new Ravenous Hunter, so it's not on abilities only anymore. I think it's on abilities only on live. I'm not really sure. And they're dead. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> this skin looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie, they did a pretty good job. But maybe a little too much color. <laughs> okay, I'm really bad at CSing, never mind. <laughs> Let's see, Kraken Slayer. Zephyr? 
Do I just go Gale Force? Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let's just test out Tiamat right now. And wait for boots. Like, I just wanna see if Tiamat actually works with Ash Q. And if it does, it's probably gonna be broken. Like, this is. Gonna be better for pushing than Runans, especially since you can buy it this early, like it's, what, 1200? <laughs> oh my god, it does actually work. <laughs> this is so silly. It doesn't work with, its, with her W, apparently. But I can just poke the hell out of them and not even have to hit them. Hit them. I feel like Tiamat's gonna be busted this season. Like, why does it work on ranged champions? Well, if you put it that way, question is why does Runans not work on melee? <laughs> like... If you're gonna do something stupid, do it all the way. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working with Ash Q or W, but it does work on her normal basics, so yeah. And I'm dead. Okay, I shouldn't have flashed, but I did it anyway. So I'm not gonna be rushing into Hydra, I'm just gonna get the Tiamat and maybe grab let's see now is this life still oh man lifeline sounds interesting you know what i'm gonna get lifeline just because it's a safe option so it's Immortal Shield Bow. Just because this is pretty much the... Yeah. This is the safest option. And since you're an Ash, you're immobile. By nature. I feel like Lifeline is gonna save our life. What the hell just happened? And where is my... Where's my ult? Wait. Hello? Okay. So, Ione just cancelled my ult somehow. I'm not sure how. And why that's a thing. But he did it. Oh man, this freaking Zed. Yeah, playing ADC is gonna be a pain. It's pretty much got the same exact issues that it had before. Like, assassins are gonna just flat out murder you half the time. And Zed's gonna be really busted because of Duskblade. Yeah, like... He's pretty much gonna be able to get a Penta with just a Duskblade because 
He goes invisible every single time he kills someone. And there's also his ult that makes him really hard to track. Sometimes. Even really hard to hit. So yeah. That's gonna be fun. Uh, pushing power on Ash is great. Hello? Um, you're gonna die. I don't know why you flashed, but you're gonna die. So why would you do that? Yeah, I really like the Tiamat on Ash. <laughs> it's it's helpful, but maybe Wicked Hatchet would have been a way better choice. I'm not sure. Like for an opening item, Wicked Hatchet seems the best. But I'm liking Tiamat. Like if you want to control the wave, Tiamat is gonna be. Great. Especially since you really need to just W to actually wave clear with Ash. So this helps out a lot. But still, I'm not sure it's worth it. Anyway, we are kind of winning bot lane. But this Z is gonna be really annoying, and he actually got Eclipse instead of Duskblade. Bear in mind, Dustblade is a mythic item, so yeah, he's not gonna be able to get it anymore. But, this actually makes Zed a lot stronger than Dustblade, so yeah. This does 16% of max HP and grants 30% movement speed. For 2 seconds, and also a shield. That's a 200 shield on a Z, by the way. Also armor penetration and lifesteal. So yeah, oh, Omni Vamp. Which I think is basically your spell vamp. Yeah, I'm gonna flash preemptively. And I maybe should've ulted there, but... Yeah. Remember, I don't play ADC. <laughs> If he goes in, I'm just, I'm just gonna ult him in the face. Oh man. You know what, let's just ult her. I think she dies. Yeah. Even if I don't get it, it's great to just remove her. And he's dead. Okay. Well, this is much better than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. We try to hit full. <laughs> yeah, I may be a um, I may not be mobile, but I've played enough champions to know how to dodge. I'm just gonna ward just in case. And do I have enough? Yes. So this was a Tiamat into Immortal Shield Bow build. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into Runans right now. Like... Runans and then finish... Ravenous, sure. Wait, they changed Ash's Frost Shot. So, attacks against enemies affected by this ability deal 105% damage. Wait a minute. So I think crit is actually valuable on Ash now. I think Ash is gonna be one of the strongest ADCs because of this, like... 
Hello? Like, no wonder I was doing so much damage. Yeah, you can actually crit with Ash now. So, there's that. Um, sure, I'm just gonna ult it. And that's that. <laughs> I think I can pretty much kill Zed right now. Err, uh, right, yeah. That was an easy bait, wait a minute. I didn't even have to pop lifeline on shield bow. Okay. Uh, what's this random movement speed? I think you get movement speed for killing towers right now. Which is interesting. Why is that a thing I don't know, but I like it. Uh, let's just head home, and do I get a... Ah, sure, let's just get Runaz first. I'm gonna be getting a Mortal Reminder soon. Because I like how the item works. And they are gonna be having a lot of lifesteal soon. Because that's how these new items work. So, Grievous Wounds is something you really have to take into consideration this season. Like, even more so than last season. I know people don't buy Grievous Wounds items, especially on AD Champions, which is pretty bad, in my opinion. You should be getting them. Um. Okay. Not sure where this Zed's going, but... Yeah, I really like how they changed... Wait... So... Attacks against enemies affected by this ability... Which is her slow, deal more damage... And the higher your crit chance is, the more damage you're gonna be doing. But you won't be critically striking unless you actually slow first. I'm just gonna ult him, and uh, never mind. Well, that was an interesting fight. Let's just get Harold. Or I'm gonna just kill you. Like, come on. Pretty strong for a Nash right now, like wait a minute. You know what? I'm just gonna go for him. And uh, never mind. <laughs> Hello. Uh Graves. That's a pretty interesting game so far. By the way, this is bad on Mastery, so don't go Shield Bow on E. It's pretty much gonna be Kraken Slayer every time. As a mythic. Are you sure you want to fight a pretty much fed Ash? <laughs> He's gonna try. Well, never mind. Err, I need mana. You know what, I'm gonna head back, or do I just heal up here and head bot? Maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm a little bit scared because I have no vision. And my flash is down as well, so yeah.
Never mind. That was almost a free kill. I'm gonna counter jungle this listen here. Well, never mind. I guess Yi really wanted to. Err. Uh, um. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna ult here. And it's a good thing I did, because I'm pretty sure my Graves would have died. And I think I'm gonna Herald after Tower. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Herald here. Hey, let's go! And that's Ash. I'm really feeling the power of Tiamat on ranged champions. Like, hello? It's dealing a lot of damage. And I don't really need Runans anymore. I just need a early Tiamat. I'm gonna grab your Runans now though. Because why not? Like, it's a great item. Like, just look at those stats. Like, not only does it give you attack speed, crit, move speed, also the normal passive, which apply on hit effects, but you also get 25 AD now. Yeah, I'm feeling like ADCs are gonna be really strong. And I feel like they're pulling Urgot with them. <laughs> so this is gonna be one of those interesting builds where you just rush at Tiamat for ADCs for some reason. And it works. Like, I'm just gonna go and test this out on Wolf. Oh my god. Oh, this is so funny. Oh my god, this is gonna hit so hard in team fights. And I'm gonna be hard to kill because of lifeline as well. <laughs> Do I just try to fight Kale? She's only got an Ashers. Sure. You're dead though, like, hello? <laughs> oh my god, look at that lifesteal though. <laughs> what the hell is this like why why is Tiamat on ranged a thing I'm dead um I maybe could have killed him I really feel like lifelines uh, passive I keep calling it lifeline it's immortal shield bow so I really feel like shield bows passive kind of saved my life there yeah it's a 450 shield now and I think it, it scales with levels. Yeah. I really feel like that that's what saved my life. And let me just get some more... Let me just get, get some more attack speed. So... Wait. Zeal now built into Mortal Reminder? Uh... Why? Okay, that's great actually. <laughs> I'm just, I just want a team fight, like. Uh, halt? Hey, let's go, the snipe. Can I help Yi? I don't think I can, but I'm gonna go and 1v2 these people, like. Hey, yo. Oh my god. Yeah, this is broken. This is broken. Like, I feel like Ash is one of those top ADCs right now. Bear in mind, I haven't played Ash since her rework release. Yeah. That's gonna be super strong. 
And the way you beat Yoni, by the way, is you sidestep. <laughs> so, yeah. If anyone gets beat up by Yone, you gotta learn how to dodge. Oh my god, look at this wave clear. Why is this a thing? Come on. I feel like Ash Top is gonna be super strong. <laughs> like... Just... Like, just make Ash an... Unkillable top laner. Like, Zed can't actually kill me. Because of heal and lifeline. And because of my stun. Yeah, this is broken. And I feel like this is not intended. I'm not sure. They might have forgotten to... They might have forgot to switch... Tiamat's range thingy off. Like, hello? <laughs> oh man. So I normally hate playing ADCs because you just die a lot. But this is so much fun, you have no idea. Like, why is this a thing? I don't know. They're gonna die. I'm out of mana. Never mind. I'm just really strong. <laughs> and yeah. So I'm running Cheap Shot and Ravenous on Ash. Also, Little Tempo with Triumph, Legend Alacrity, and Cutdown. I no idea why I'm running Cutdown. Because they're not actually tanky, but Zed's trying. By the way, this is the new Spear of Shojin. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's not it. It's Navori Quickblade. So, this. This is the new Spear of Shojin, basically. Which, if you ask me, is actually stronger than what Spear of Shojin was. Because you don't have to cast your ult. So it's pretty much active all the time. <laughs> which is kind of silly. Unknown bo bonus magic damage. Why is it unknown? Zero. What? Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm just gonna undo. And... Sure. Let's buy a mortal reminder. Also, let me just sell this. And... Sure. Ravenous. <laughs> it's about time I get Ravenous, right? Yeah, bear in mind, I don't even have Infinity Edge, and I'm critting pretty much all the time, and Asher's passive? Attacks against enemies affected by this ability deal 135%, which scales with crit chance. Yeah, I think Riot broke Ash. And not only Ash, like, I feel like Riot broke pretty much every single champion in the game, as long as you can play, and you can make use of these items. Uh, we're in trouble next season. We are in deep, deep, deep. Yeah, you, you can't actually kill me though. <laughs> yeah, I panic flashed. <laughs> Unlucky. I'm just gonna kill him. Like... If he tries this... He's gonna die. And he tried it. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Like... Hello? Yeah, Immortal Shield Bow makes ADCs unkillable. And I feel like... Ravenous Hydra is too much of a power spike. To not get... Together with Ash. And... What's this? Runans. So, Runans, Ravenous, and Shield Bow. Yeah. Really strong. Really, really, really strong. And there we go. <laughs> By the way, guys, as always, 
If you like my content, make sure to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And that was game. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.